Well, thanks for tuning into my channel and checking out another review. I try and be as thorough as possible, and today I have a Best Garter WG50 Plus monocular. Uh, if you can remember back maybe six months ago or so, I did a review on another Best Garter product. It was a binocular, uh, their NV900, if I remember correctly. I'll put a link uh, to that review up here. Uh, but since that, uh, Best Garter has released this. They got in contact with me and wondered if I would be willing to review it for them. They sent this to me. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and then like all my reviews, I'm gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna show you sample photos and videos that I can get with this monocular. Uh, and I'm gonna show you some of its setup and features that it uh, offers also. Uh, so let's get into the unboxing. As I mentioned, it is the best garter, WG50 Plus. And that Plus offers a Wi-Fi uh, playback option on a free app. It's iOS or Android uh, compatible. Inside the box is a case with presumably the monocular inside, we get an instruction manual, an audio video cable, and a USB cable. Inside the case, have the actual monocular. A nice rubber cap. Here's your IR illuminator. You have your focus adjustment. Here's your eyepiece. Nice rubber cap on it. And it takes four AA batteries. So with four batteries in the unit, you can press and hold the power button. The unit powers up. The WG50 offers a six power optical zoom, uh, and then it offers a digital zoom also that'll take you up to 30 power. Uh, it has a 50 mm objective lens here, uh, which is a little bit bigger than the binocular that I had reviewed earlier from Best Garter. Uh, you can change the brightness of your screen right here with the sun button. Uh, the IR uh, illumination has nine different settings and you can click through those to make it brighter uh, at night or less bright uh, with the IR button. The plus and the minus is for your digital zoom. Uh, and then you have a record button. And that record button will either start taking photos or videos, and that can be set here on the side of the unit. Uh, there's an extra flap that you can open up. Uh, in here is your micro SD card, and it's great news that it actually comes with this unit. It's supplied with that. Uh, here is your selection button for either video or photos, and you can simply uh, choose which one you want to take. And then here is your USB and your TV out settings. So next, I'm going to be taking this monocular, and I'm going to be taking it out into the field. I'm going to be doing some tests with it, both day and night footage. Uh, show you some settings. It has a built-in tripod uh, connection here. Uh, we'll be using it on the tripod some, seeing how steady footage we can get and how good a quality it is. Uh, overall, I can say it feels like a good build quality, and if you can remember back in my other review of their NV900 size was a bit of an issue for me. It was a pretty big and heavy unit, uh, relatively speaking. Uh, this definitely is smaller. Uh, it's more lightweight, uh, yet it feels like pretty quality build. So I was pleased to see uh, that the smaller compact size uh, and yet more optical zoom uh, and a bigger objective lens. So that's great. A uh, bunch of positives there uh, put into this unit. Uh, it also has the Wi-Fi, as I would mentioned. I'm going to be downloading the app and I'll walk you through some of that uh, and show you the options that are available through the app uh, and Wi-Fi to transfer the photos and videos. So I'm excited to check that out. Uh, so stick with me and we will dig deeper uh, into this Best Garter monocular. So next I want to go over why is the WG50 Plus 
a plus. Well, that plus stands for Wi-Fi. Uh, Best Carter has a WG50 series, as far as I know, uh, but this is the WG50 plus, and that plus means Wi-Fi enabled. Now, I want to clarify that Wi-Fi enabling uh, does not mean it has internet service. You cannot connect to the internet uh, with this monocular. Uh, the Wi-Fi simply connects this unit to your smartphone. Uh, you can download an app, uh, connect this through Wi-Fi, and I'll show you real quickly here uh, how to do that, uh, what the benefits are, and why I think it's so convenient having the Wi-Fi option on this. Now, the manual does a pretty good job on telling you how to connect, uh, but who reads the manual? Uh, I'm gonna quickly show you what to do and how to connect this Wi-Fi to your smartphone. So the first thing you're gonna to have to do is get your smartphone. Uh, and you're gonna to have to go into the app store, whether you have an Apple product like I do or an Android. Uh, if you go into your apps, uh, you're gonna search for iSmartDV. Uh, it's a free app. Uh, there's no monthly subscription or anything like that. You can simply download that free app to your smartphone. Once you downloaded that app, uh, now it's time to turn on your unit. Uh, you simply power your unit up by long pressing the power key, uh, the unit fires up uh, in your display screen comes on. Uh, next is your record button. You long press your record button. That means you press it down and hold it for three to four seconds. After you press it there for that three or four seconds uh, in your display screen, you'll be able to see it says Wi-Fi connection. Next, you will wanna take your iPhone, uh, go into your settings and look for the Wi-Fi signal that this is creating. Uh, mine comes up as night cam, it says. Uh, you click on that night cam. Well, the first time you do this, it's gonna ask you to put in a security code. Uh, that is listed in your manual. Uh, actually, the default setting is all zeros, eight zeros in a row. Uh, once you put in that security code, uh, your smartphone is connected uh, to the Wi-Fi that your monocular is putting out. So it really is that simple and it becomes quite easy, especially after you've done it a time or two. Uh, you simply long press your record button to uh, start sending Wi-Fi signal uh, from your monocular. Uh, you open up your settings on your smartphone and find that signal, connect to it. Uh, then your phone has Wi-Fi, it should display Wi-Fi signal. Then you're ready to open the app. Uh, at that point, uh, you're connected and you get a live screen here uh, without having to look through the viewfinder of what your monocular is seeing. You can scan that around and simply see that. Uh, if you have this sitting on a tripod, uh, you, don't, you can be 10, 20 feet away from it and see exactly what that's seeing. That's a huge benefit. It's a lot easier uh, just looking at the screen of your iPhone uh, rather than holding it up, if you're, especially if you're doing this for long periods of time and doing a lot of scanning. Uh, this you can remove yourself away from that, or uh, if it's setting on a tripod, you don't always have the tripod set at eye level. Uh, you can have it sitting down on a table uh, and control it that way, and you can see on your phone exactly uh, what this is seeing. Not only do, does this give you a live viewing uh, on your screen, you can change the settings. Uh, you can change it from video mode to camera mode right here on the app. Uh, you cannot focus, though, your app does not allow you to uh, do that. You'd actually have to physically uh, turn the focus. But basically every other setting uh, that's on here or in the menu of this is available uh, at the touch of your fingers then through the app. So that makes the Plus uh, really beneficial. I like having this app. Uh, I like seeing that live display of exactly uh, what this is looking at. Uh, it makes it really handy and I do find myself uh, using that a good bit. So it's now time for the sample footage. I wanna show you footage that I've collected both at daytime and nighttime, because remember you can turn this IR on or off, so you can use this in color uh, during the daytime, and then at night, turn the IR on for nighttime footage. Uh, people wanna see how well does this light up at night, how far can you see, how clear is the picture. Uh, well, I have sample footage that I have got. I'm gonna show you that but stick around because right after that sample footage is done, I have a little bit of a test or an experiment to see if this IR illuminator is gonna reach out as far as the advertised specs. So you don't wanna miss that. Here's the sample footage. So I did wanna walk you through some of these videos. The best carter does have a good microphone on it, uh, but it just seemed every time I was shooting this video, it was extremely windy. So I'm gonna drop down that audio so that you can uh, concentrate on the videos themselves. 
Uh, here I was actually scanning through some open fields with the night vision and I ended up finding this rabbit and you can see here it's about right in the middle of the screen there its eyes definitely glow really good. Here I picked up a whole herd of deer there was quite a number of them. They were out there a long ways, but you can just so make out their bodies, but their eyes really stick out. Uh, this was several hundred yards away. Here's an example of a vehicle and buildings uh, that really picks up anything reflective or man-made, seems to really pick out. Uh, this vehicle was just buzzing past and I wanted to see how the IR reacted on the movement. Here's some footage of my cattle. Boy, the six magnification lens really brings things in close. It looks like I'm standing right on top of her when actually I was quite a distance away from her. Finally, we're going to wrap up the IR footage uh, with my farm dog. She was probably pretty curious what I was walking around the farm with the night vision for. Next, I'll show you some footage that I collected in the daytime with this monocular. Uh, it really gives a nice clear picture, I think, during the daytime. So I'm going to let this roll and then stick around. I'm going to do a little bit of a test to see how far the night vision actually works. So as I mentioned, I wanted to do a little bit of a demonstration with this yet. Uh, it is advertised as 350 meters, I believe it'll illuminate. Well, I set up a little bit of a uh, experiment here. I have two orange work cones, uh, one's at 100 yards from me, and way out there on that hillside is one at 350 yards. I'm gonna come back here at nighttime uh, and maybe solicit the help of a volunteer. I'm gonna have to round up maybe one of my sons. Uh, I'm gonna have them walk uh, between this first cone the whole way to that last cone at 350 yards. Uh, we'll see if this can pick them up the whole time, uh, if it can see out that far and see if it can see the cones or the person walking at that distance. Uh, this should be a fun experiment. I'm anxious to see how this turns out and if this will illuminate the whole way out there uh, to that far cone. So here is the test. I was able to round up my son to run through the pitch black darkness and try and find these cones. Now keep in mind he cannot see whatsoever. Uh, but the IR on this monocular is really picking them up. It's getting close to that first 100 yard cone and right there I think he spots it. So that's him at 100 yards. Uh, he's going to continue to run out there and try and find that cone uh, at 350 yards. And remember it is pitch black. He has no light. He cannot see. Another thing I want to mention is his sweatshirt there. It's actually dark gray, so I don't know if it's the UV brighteners in the wash or what it is. It makes it look like it would almost be white or really light colored. It is an extremely dark colored sweatshirt. Here it looks like we can almost lose him, but you can still see his sweatshirt running there. Uh, just can't quite see the cone, uh, and he's actually trying to find it. So there he came to a stop, I think it was right about there, and he has found it. I actually had sent a reflective vest with him that he had shoved up underneath his sweatshirt. He had put that on uh, just to show how well he can see if it was something reflective. And now he's making his return trip uh, back to me and trying to find me. It is kind of funny watching somebody run in the dark when you can see them, but they can't see anything in front of them. It's like running uh, blindly and uh, he actually never does find his closest cone to us on his return trip back. He runs past it but cannot see it. 
it's pitch black uh, and it's actually a pretty cloudy night. So kudos to him for even helping me here on this little project uh, running in the pitch blacks. Not necessarily fun, probably makes you feel like you're about to stumble or fall at any given point when you can't even see the ground at your own feet. So I appreciate his help. Well, that does wrap up my testing here, the monocular uh, from Best Carter. Uh, I wanna give you my final thoughts, but first I have a few things I wanted to tie up the loose ends on, maybe things that I've forgotten. And one of those was in the app, uh, I didn't mention, but you do have the option of downloading uh, any pictures or videos that are on the SD card uh, on the monocular. So you can select and download the images and videos that you want that are on here uh, and put them directly onto your cell phone. I was mentioning a lot about the live viewing and that is great, uh, but if you wanna simply download the images or videos from here, you have that option through the app. Uh, the other option would be to remove uh, the micro SD card and put it into your laptop or computer uh, and download the images or videos that way. So that's something else I wanted to mention. Uh, the other thing was that the videos uh, that I was able to show you here as sample footage. You definitely can see a little bit better even through the viewfinder. I think uh, there's a little bit more light in the viewfinder than what the actual video turns out as. Uh, so you can keep that in mind. What I showed you, you'll probably even get better performance uh, than that by looking through the eyepiece or through the live view on your phone. Uh, I'm sure it has something to do with the sensor inside and as it converts it over into the video file, uh, you might lose a little bit of the exposure there. But uh, that was the other thing I wanted to mention. Now it's time for my final thoughts. I think Best Carter did a great job with this binocular. I have been using it for almost three months now and it has performed flawlessly. It literally has had no hiccups. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. Uh, it has done everything I wanted it to and probably exceeded my expectations. Another thing I wanted to touch on was the Wi-Fi and the app. Uh, I knew it would be useful, but I didn't really think I would use it as much as I do. I virtually use that every single time now. I just find viewing the viewfinder on my phone to be more convenient uh, than actually looking through that eyepiece. So I use the app and I think that Wi-Fi option is great, uh, not to mention being able to download directly to my smartphone A plus for the Wi-Fi and the app on this best carter. Another huge plus is the price point. This is a very affordable night vision. When you compare it to what other night vision cost, uh, this option gives you a great price point to be able to get into night vision, uh, be able to try it out, uh, wet your feet, so to speak. Uh, this is a great price for this type of night vision. One negative thing that I did want to point out that I have found a little bit inconvenient was uh, when using this, uh, it looks like it would orient real nice. You can handle it really nice this way uh, and you can access your buttons here. But when you look through the viewfinder this way, uh, the picture isn't oriented. It does not self turn. So from this way is how uh, the video and photos are taken. If you hold it this way up on its edge, uh, the photos and videos you get are gonna be up on its edge. Now you can correct that in editing or uh, afterwards. You can flip the photo if you want, uh, but if like most cell phones nowadays and most digital cameras, uh, they have a self orientation that when you turn them, it actually flips the video or photo. This does not. So that would be one little negative. So other than that one small complaint, uh, Best Carter really did a good job. This thing has really worked well for me and I'm super happy with it. Uh, another thing I did wanna mention quickly are the batteries. I am on the original set of batteries and I've used this uh, even with the IR one for several hours, I would say. Uh, so I'm not sure how long they're gonna last, but they have lasted this far and that's more than what I could really expected from one set of batteries. So battery life is also a great thing. So that's it. That's my review on the Best Carter WG Plus night vision monocular. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. I try to be as thorough as possible. Uh, if you have questions or comments, put them down in the description. I'm gonna have a link down in the description if you wanna check uh, this exact model out. Uh, simply drop down there and you'll be able to find that. As always, thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video.